Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I guess I'll just do my final recap of the NCAA tournament. Uh, the women won last night, uh, UConn won, giving UConn the sweep. Uh, they're the only team to do it, they're the only school to do it, and they've done it twice, so uh, I, I find that funny, but um, yeah, not very pretty. Um, the final conservative, I guess, in the very first bracket I did... Uh, were the best other than this one. I'll look at the opening, the one that I did very first. So let's look. Uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't, I guess it wasn't god awful, but it, it was pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, wow, I almost got the whole entire region correct. Wow, that's pretty darn, pretty darn special. Uh, let's see here, up here, this is still pretty ugly too. All ugly, I got this whole thing right, right here. Like a champ. Uh, but that, that, that sucks too. Uh, so let's back out of that. And, uh, look at the only bracket that really did anything for me. Uh, this one right here, the conservative bracket, the very first one I did. Uh, it's not bad. Got this 100% correct. Uh, got kind of screwed right there. Um... This I got 100% correctly, right there. I uh, got this part correct, didn't take Mercer in this bracket, so uh, that that kind of sucks. I uh, took NC State like everyone, so that sucks. Um, sh went conservative, should have taken Kentucky over Wichita State. I knew that was going to happen, I don't know why Wich Wichita State wasn't the conservative pick, Kentucky was the conservative pick, but I don't know. Um... I had Louisville, and then I had Michigan, so that that wasn't awful. This was kind of it, because I went with Creighton. Uh, got kind of ballsy with Creighton. Uh, probably shouldn't have taken them that far. Uh, Oregon let me down and couldn't blew that lead to Wisconsin. Uh, that oh my god, that game with Oklahoma State Gonzaga had sixty two fouls or whatever. That's ridiculous. Like that's insane. Um, and then in this one, I didn't have North Dakota State or Oklahoma, over, or, yeah, over Oklahoma. So if you, like, smash three of my brackets together, I have a pretty good bracket. But you can't smash three brackets together, but, um, did have UConn to the final, or to the national championship in this bracket to play Michigan. And I do think if Michigan would have beat Kentucky here, um, I think they would have made it to the national championship. Which team would have won? I bet it still would have been UConn, uh, but uh, I think Michigan would have beat Wisconsin, uh, just my opinion, but that didn't happen, so yeah, that's a look at my men's, pretty god-awful, if, if, if I do say so myself, uh, but uh, look at the women's, uh, but I, I guess it's better, it was in like the 99% percentile or whatever, let's see here, actually I can look. I was ranked 104,000 out of like 11 million, so I guess that's not terrible. Uh, but I, I might come back to this and show the brackets that were like the best ones, like the best three, or f I think there were two tied for the best. Uh, but let me see here, can I find, yeah, there we go, there's the bracket. I'll uh, show the women's one, the only one, the one and only bracket I did. Let's see here. I got the winner right. Um, I was ranked 104,000 in this one, wow. That is special, um, but I got some of these wrong, uh, Chattanooga, uh, let's see here, I took upsets and really no upsets really occurred, uh, the Maryland over Tennessee, that was a pretty big upset, um, the LSU over West Virginia, Are there any other upsets, North Carolina over South Carolina, kind of. I guess that's an upset. DePaul over Duke. Uh, let's see here. BYU making BYU beating NC State and then beating Nebraska. Those are about the only upsets. Uh, but UConn absolutely demolished Notre Dame last night. That was just pathetic. Uh, but yeah, that 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 was not that's not an awful bracket, I guess. Did anybody get this? Did anybody do this for like? Let's see here. Who was the best score on this? Uh, there were th two people tied. 
Did anybody at the top, like, not have Connecticut winning? Oh my gosh, there's so many people tied at 17-70. No, there's no way you could be up this high on the leaderboard and not have Connecticut winning at all. Let's see here. I'll look at Cleavermans. I need to have, what, what did he do? So right. Uh, he had the final four 100% correct. He did pretty good. A pretty impressive looking bracket. It's pretty damn impressive. Um, well, let's go look at the men. There's two, uh, two men's brackets that were, uh, above and beyond the rest. So I will show those, and then that will be the end of the video. And uh, it'll be the end of the NCAA March Madness videos until next year. Uh, let's see here. We got, t we got Timmy's bracket here. Tim J. Watros, 215. Uh, he missed the Stephen F. Austin over VCU. He missed the Dayton going all the way there. He had Kansas. He missed New Mexico or Stanford over New Mexico. Uh, he didn't pick Harvard. Uh, most of the brackets, the good brackets, they did have Harvard. So that that's interesting that he didn't. Um, he didn't have any of this. The Tennessee Mercer or Tennessee again. Um, let's see here, which most people didn't, I kind of got lucky by doing that, um, let's see here, he had Creighton, not Baylor, and he had, he picked, like, no upsets, like, really, man? Other than Kentucky, which Kentucky winning wasn't really upsets, UConn was, I'll give him that, taking UConn to win it all is, <laughs> having UConn and Kentucky play it in the national championship, the people that pick that are, are geniuses, I have no other words, like, it's it's not, like, as crazy as if, like, I don't know, like, oh, what's what's another 8-9 that would have been weird, would have been terrible, like, would, would have been a huge surprise, like, Colorado versus, let's see here, like, Colorado, Texas, that, that would have been one that no one would have saw coming, wow, this dude had this perfectly correct, that's pretty darn impressive, he didn't pick Harvard either, really? He could have had both of the bottom brackets 100% correctly had he picked Harvard. Uh, the top, oh, his top is ugly. Oh, God. That, no, not the whole top, but that, that left side, the Florida bracket, God, that's ugly. He got the upset wrong if he would have picked UCLA all the way there and switched that with Stephen. Like, if he would have picked Stephen F. Austin against Tulsa and UCLA instead of VCU, like that away, like if he would have done that, that would have been pretty good. Uh, wow, he had Ohio State to the Elite Eight, uh, but my dad also had that, so I don't know. Um, and, uh, wow, he picked Eastern Kentucky to beat Kansas, so, yeah, that, that's good. Um, Oklahoma State. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad bracket. His bracket looks better than the other guys. If you just take out that, uh, the South region, his bracket is amazing, I wish he would have picked Harvard, because this would just been a beautiful bottom half bracket, but alas, he didn't. Uh, but that's going to do it for this. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know how you ended up uh, with your bracket. Um, let me know if you... Um, I want to know if any one of my subscribers had this Yukon, Kentucky. I highly doubt it. There were only like 50 of them uh, that were registered uh, that got it. And so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.